What's up everybody, this is Mr. Second Fast Forward. Today I'm gonna to cover where I have found the best possible interest rate, right, for savers like us uh, here in Ecuador where you can find. I haven't found anything better. And no, it's not JEP, right? So don't, don't click away just yet if you're already affiliated to JEP. Let's talk about JEP for a second. I am uh, affiliated to JEP and a saver there and you know have a CD open. It's a, it's a very nice, nice cooperative here in Ecuador. It's kind of like a credit union, not really a smallish bank. It's not really a bank, but it is insured by the government institution called the COSETE, which is up to $32,000 on deposits per account holder, not per account, per account holder. Very important, right? So anyway... JEP is nice. It's where a lot of the foreigners have their money now. It's just, it's just a sponge for all the foreigners to put their money in it. And uh, that's one of the things that I don't particularly like about JEP. Uh, there's a few things as well. Like Also, they, they're, they're trying to expand like crazy, at least trying to conquer the Quito area. Um, and they're opening these big, shiny, new um, banks uh, in all over Quito over the last couple years. But they're they're kind of creepy. They're pretty empty. There's more employees in there whenever I go in there. There's more employees than there are people. And I don't know. I don't know. They're, maybe they're expanding too fast. I don't know. But anyway, there's some causes for pauses whenever you, you, you see an empty bank. It reminds me of that other one that closed on me. But <clears throat> the one that closed on me a couple years back, uh, that was not insured by the Cosede right? And uh, that's the main issue here. You want to be sure that it's insured. Whatever cooperative you choose, you want to make sure it's ins insured by the Cosetti. But, you know, with JEP, they offer 8.5% on a one-year CD. You can get 9 if you're if you do like I show in a different video uh, here on how to get, you know, the best rates down here. You can get 9 if you negotiate a little bit here in JEP and you, you're willing to put your money down for a little bit longer than a year, like say 450 days or more, right? So if you offer that, usually they'll give you the nine in JEP. But there, I've found an even better rate. Let's take a look, right? So this cooperative I'm going to show, share with you today has been around 44 years and I'm going to explain why I think it's probably maybe just a shade even more secure safe than the JEP, in my opinion, and probably possibly over any other cooperative in Ecuador, because the little ones do shut down a lot in Ecuador. So you want to be careful. From one day to the next, they'll just shut the door, happen to me, put a lock on it, and then they'll start the liquidation process, which can take years to get all your money back. So, yeah, you, you want to be a little careful. I personally wouldn't have more than 32000 per account holder uh, in any given cooperative in Ecuador. And so this is a great alternative if you want to work with JEP and get another one, too, to kind of spread the money out a little bit. You can also make so that you get the interest payments to you monthly. You can take the monthly payment out in both JEP and the one I'm going to show today. Uh, you can get the interest payments paid to you in cash monthly if you prefer or at the end of the end of the CD term. Now I got the idea for this from a friend of mine who happens to also be my brother-in-law, uh, the brother of my wife here in Ecuador, who's a police here in Ecuador. And he is a big time saver and super thrifty, if you wanna call it that. He saves a lot, big time saver, and he only has one bank account. And it's this, what I'm gonna show to you, the Cooperativa de la Policia Nacional. They have, uh, that's the name of this one. It's the main cooperative of the police of Ecuador on a nationwide scale. And they used to only work with the police and their immediate families. That's the only way you could work with them. But uh, recently, you know, <clears throat> in the last few years, I'm not sure exactly when, but they opened it up to the general public, right? The whole, the thing's been around, like I said, 44 years. So it's been around a while, but they work really good. Um, they... They're, the customer service is also very good and actually friendly, uh, which is interesting. And um, they have offices all over Ecuador, 
right? Because obviously there's police all over Ecuador. Okay, so my brother-in-law, this is the only bank or cooperative that he's a part of. Like this is his only account. All of his life savings are in this one thing. I don't know if I recommend that, but but obviously it, it just goes to show you the, the trust that, that the police have in this cooperative. And you know, they have a, this cooperative, why do I think it's safer than maybe even a, a random cooperative like the JEP? You know, they have a built-in customer base, the police. And I don't think the government's gonna let this thing collapse, you know, because the in a country like Ecuador, the police and the military are the only ones with guns, you know, and I don't, that would be a pretty bad look if it did close. So, so just, that's why I think it, it might be even a, a, a tad safer than, than a normal cooperative and as it, as it says here right on their website they're as i mentioned they're they've had four they've been in business 44 years and they are in the top three of cooperatives uh as far as um money that they manage and have on deposit and they are they have offices in all the provinces in ecuador investment and it is open to foreigners as well the requirements for foreigners as you can see here is just simply uh, your passport and the receipt for your utilities payment. And it can be a water, electric, whatever. And you have to be present. JEP, you can have someone else uh, open, an, open an account, deposit money for you with a poder or a power of attorney that you send to Ecuador in the name of someone else, right? This cooperative does not, I asked, and they seem to not uh, offer that option. You have to be present in order to open an account open an investment. So this is a look at the inside the office here. I really like, you can see the police guy there, right? It's, it's a lot of people in here. And what's super, what's interesting to me is there is some Chinese in here that obviously were not police. You know, not a bad idea, I think, to follow the Chinese when investing, okay? So what exactly are the rates that they're offering right now in this cooperative, right? So as you can see here, the plazo or the the amount of time in days that you leave the amount, right? And the amounts here. So not saying I recommend it, but if you left over $100,000 for 451 days or longer, you would get a rate of 10% per year, 10%. Obviously that beats Jep and that beats, I did check around with a few other cooperatives that are insured by the Cosede, and I could not find anywhere close to these rates. 925 uh, was about the best I could find uh, checking around here in Ecuador. The regular banks like Banco Pichincha, Proto Banco, where I bank, and you, you know they might give you around six seven for the year, um, is what I have discovered uh, currently here in 2021. Now there might be this person who says, "No, I got this." in Proto Banco, well, may, or Pichincha. Well, maybe they're investing a lot of money, maybe way more than I would recommend in one single account, or maybe they are, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe they just negotiated really well. But but if you walk in there, I have to a Proto Banco or a Pichincha, and they'll, they'll tell you about, you know, four, five, six, seven percent for the year in that range, right? So that's why people use cooperatives. And if you left 50,000 or more, you'd have a 9.75% uh, interest rate. Very interesting, considering the insurance is up to 32 per person, 32,000. So, you know, you're almost there. Now, if you left just up to 32,000, you have a 9.5. Not too shabby. And obviously, it beats, it definitely beats the JEP. And if you do the interest calculator out, you know, you can Google it. Uh, just one or two percent means a huge difference if you just leave it in there compounding um, for years at a time. So anyway, that is uh, for me the best paying and what I consider to be the safest cooperative in all of Ecuador, the Cooperativa Policia Nacional. Uh, an interesting alternative to where all the gringos go, JEP. Take care. I'm Mr. Second Passport. If you like this, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button below.